Alright, just set this down here. And you might want to stand back. Might... Okay, just fine. You're a good judge of distance. I'd say the pilots are gonna work out fine. Now that's service. I love the planes on delivery. All right, now we're talking. All right. Let's, let's roll. Yeah, let's roll. Here we go. A uh, little rocky for the start, but that's okay. Here we. Okay, that's not good. That's that. All right. I'd like to return this slightly used plane. Oh look! I could lift things up into the air with my balloons. Oh, and then let's pop the balloon. And then just watch it fall gracefully back to the ground and... Kaboom! Nice. Alright. Yeah, take that. But wait. What about my balloon? See ya! <laughs> oh. You know, I'm sure this is gonna get old at some point. It's just not, not yet. Oh, look! Okay, okay. This last one, and then I'm done. Oh, well, we're not compensating for anything, are we? You know, when dealing with the enemy, you can shoot them, sure, you can explode mines on them, but you don't really know that they're dead. Until you kick him. Jean-Claude Van Damme in the house. It is so hard to find good contractors on Solis. All I have to do is just put some balloons on this radio tower and look, falls right apart. Why is your beard glowing? I've already done some of the legwork. How did you do that? Mr. Deer, this is not a safe space for you. This is a war zone. It's also a war zone for people, apparently. Go! Be free! They'll be fine. I, I can't see that going badly for anyone. I'm doing a good thing. I'm, get, I'm getting them out of a war zone. I'm a good person. Alright. Now it's time to take the... Okay, maybe not. Let's... Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna take your helicopter and... Okay. Uh... Alright. Third time's a charm. I am going to take your helicopter. Come here. Come here. I am taking your helicopter. Get out! There. Now, I have your helicopter. How do you feel now? Yeah. Helicopter's on the other foot. This is Solis Justice. And... Um... Nope, still up. Still up, we're fine. No problem. Just... I'd like to return this slightly used helicopter. We are going to try this again. I I'm surprised my head is still attached, actually. This is pretty impressive. Yes. Blades do not affect me. Now I'm in charge of another helicopter. That's... I'm seeing a pattern. Why did they make everything on this island so explodable? And who was the genius that thought painting everything explodable red was a good design decision? Looks like they're using some I mean, what if I come along factory. and want to blow sense. things up? Right, huh? I... Okay, point taken. Rico, can you hook her up to the vehicle so I don't get fired? You... Alright. Sure. Why not? You're welcome? I mean, seriously. Any psychopath with a helicopter could just come along and look at anything red and start blowing it up. Who thought that was a good idea? 
to quickly and easily... M okay, enough of helicopters. Let's go with some single-engine planes. By the way, if you're having trouble with the uh, runways being too short, just uh, attach a balloon. Uh, as you can see, you can get some real height going pretty quickly. And then uh, you just release the balloon when you're at a correct altitude. See how much easier it is to fly planes now? Hey, uh, here's some other good tips. If you're finding that uh, your plane isn't going as fast as you'd like it to, uh, attach some of these uh, boosters to the back end, and uh, you're going to find that all of a sudden you're going way, way faster. I'm just going to show you how that works right now. Just attach a ton of them on while we're uh, in the middle of the air. Yep, okay, and back into the cockpit, and uh, we're just going to release all the boosters at once and you as you can see this is working out great um oh the room's spinning uh okay you know what uh, uh i think i'm gonna have to call that plane delivery service back all right if this doesn't end up working i think i'm pretty much done with planes some people wonder what it's like to actually fly a jumbo jet a good old 747. Well, all you need to do is attach balloons to it. And as you can see, it, uh, it quickly and easily uh, goes up into the air. Because this is how aerodynamics work. Uh, and as you can see, this is going to be a great space-saving feature for airports. Think about how small airports are going to have to be now that we can have vertical takeoff for uh, even like commercial airliners. I think that this is revolutionary. Balloon technology is the wave of the future, folks. And I cannot see it going badly at all. Oh, no. Um. Okay. Well, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh. It's fine. It's, it's fine. You know what? We're gonna try a more hands-on approach. And uh, get right on here so that I can perform diagnostics when we get this thing airborne. Alright, I think this is going terrific. And I am very happy with our results. Look at the height we are able to achieve. And think of the energy conservation, right? We have had to use no gas. Okay. Still some flaws. Now see, if every person who is on the plane also packs a parachute, we're still good. Okay, so working out the kinks. Literally, any pyromaniac or explosives enthusiast could just come to this island and start blowing everything red up. This was bad city planning. If my aim seems off, it might be because I'm literally upside down and blood is pooling to my head. And that may affect my aim. And you know, the same technology that we can use to make planes fly, we can also use to move these Connex containers. See how great this is? This is the renewable energy source we have always been looking for. Unlimited helium balloons. This is terrific. Now, finding a way to set them down where you want them, that's, uh, that's gonna be a little trickier. Of course, it is the stealth Quick fighter that I can fly. Can do it. I mean, seriously, any crazy maniac with a helicopter for the could just start blowing up airships that are easily marked as explodable. I mean, they're airships, and they're all over the place. What were you thinking? I mean, I can't think of the person who would do that. I'm just saying, if there was a person... Yes, the delicate balance of two fighter jets careening gently. Oh, boy. Uh, oops. <laughs> um, mm -mm. All right. Well, uh, uh, no, everything's okay. It's, uh, well, okay, maybe 
it's not for that or that one. Yep. Yep. Ooh, a stadium. What's in the stadium? <gasps> are those monster trucks? They are monster trucks. Please tell me I can get in the monster truck. Oh! Well, I know what the rest of my day is gonna be about. Here we go. Yeah! Oh, that was anticlimactic. Rico, it's Mira. My friend is waiting for us at the airport. I'll meet you there. Just, uh, come with an open mind, okay? Mira, I'm... I hate to tell you this. I am not gonna be with you for a long time. I am... I am going to be occupied for the next few hours. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, if that scene is not in the next Fast and Furious, I am gonna riot. Alright, well... Looks like I've officially liberated all of Solis. Um, yeah, job well done! Uh, had to blow a lot of stuff up, but that's the price of liberty, I suppose. Um, guess I'll just get back to chilling with the llama here. This is nice. Yep, sure is. I'm a good person. <laughs>